Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. Today let's explore how to detect errors in log files with the find trigger function. Let's configure Zabbix to monitor the Apache error log. I already have created the host Apache web server monitored by Zabbix agent. Now we need to add a new item to collect values from the log. First, let's open the new item configuration form. In the item configuration form, enter the name and select the item type. In this case, Zabbix agent active. For the key field, let's use the log item key. Specify the path to the log file in square brackets. Note that it's good practice to define the file path in double quotes. This way we can avoid issues with parsing the file path. All other item key parameters are optional and we will skip them for now. The type of information should be set to log. Let's set the update interval to one second so we can constantly keep an eye out on the incoming log lines. Since this is just an example, let's set the history storage period to one day. Now I can save the item and switch to the triggers for the Apache host. We need to add a new trigger that will constantly check the values returned by the log item and generate a problem alert if it detects an error string. I will call this trigger error in Apache log and set trigger severity to warning. For the trigger expression, let's use the trigger expression builder. First, select our Apache log monitoring item. Then, select the find function and specify the necessary parameters. We will check for error entries for the last 10 minutes. Note that for this function, the trigger status gets recalculated only when a new log entry is collected by the item. For the operator, we will use like, because it tells the function to search for a specified string. The next parameter is the pattern that we will react on. For this example, we can use error. We will generate a problem if we find the error pattern, so the result should be equal to 1. Now, if the trigger detects an error in log item values, it will fire, and we will know that there is something wrong with Apache that may require our attention. Finally, we can take a look at the problem section, and we will see that there is a problem created for error in our Apache log entry. 